Hi there, in this video we're going to be solving the following problem. Find the area of a parallelogram that has the adjacent sides, and we have two vectors here, u and v. So to solve this, we're going to be using the same formula we used in the prior video to find an orthogonal vector. So the first step is to actually find that vector. The formula to actually find the area of a parallelogram, at least in this particular context, is u times v and the length of this, the length of u times v, essentially. So let's go ahead and try find u times v. This u times v here is the orthogonal vector sort of thing that I was talking about earlier. So let's go, let's find it. So 2, 3, 1. This is the vector of the first vector we have, the u vector. The v vector is 4, 0, and 2. And before I continue, this is a parallelogram, just to, just to be clear. A parallelogram looks kind of like that, except for this weird line I drew. Anyways, going back to this, uh, focus on the for the last two coordinates here, the 3, 1, and the 0, and the 2, everything in this area, and cross multiply. So multiply this 3 to the 2, and the 1 to the 0. So over here, I'll write 3 times 2, subtract, because then you subtract, then you subtract 1 times 0. Put a comma, because this here is the first coordinate of the orthogonal vector that we're finding. Uh, the next one, we focus on the, the two outer coordinates, so the 2 here and the 4, and the 1 over here and the 2. So multiply the 2 by the other 2, sort of like going diagonally. So 2 times 2 is 4, I'll just write the 4 in there. Uh, 4 times 1 is 4, so oops put a subtraction sign there, then put a 4, and then we're going to put a comma. Now, now let's focus on the last coordinate. To do this, we focus on the first two coordinates here, or first two sets. The 2 and the 4, the 3 and the 0. So now let's cross multiply the 2 here with the 0. So 2 times 0. Subtract 3 times 4, that's a 12. And now we have all the coordinates. Let's simplify it now. 3 times 2 is 6. Subtract 1 times 0, so 1 times 0 is 0, which means overall this can be 6, comma, 4 times, so 4 subtract 4 is 0, comma, 2 times 0 is 0, then we have negative 12. So this is the, the orthogonal vector we're going to be working with. However, we're not quite done yet. I'm just gonna switch colors quick. So now we want to find the length of this vector. Let's call this vector, like, I don't know, vector q. q is the vector there we just found. So now we find the length of it. To find that, we have we do the square root of six square, the first coordinate. We square every single uh, individual component of this vector here. So six squared is 36. Add zero squared, it's just zero. Add then negative 12 squared is 144. And then we, of course, square root all of that overall just to get the final distance, or I should say length, of the orthogonal vector that we found. So now we add up 36 and 144. That would give me square root of 180. And if I wanted to simplify that further, I could actually take out 36 and square root that. That would make it 6 on the outside, multiply, I believe it's 5 inside. And this would be the final answer. Of course, both of these answers here are equivalent. It is just a further simplification right there. So square root 180 is the area of the parallelogram that has adjacent sides of this and that. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you're having a fantastic day.